in America we have rights, and those rights say, I have the right to my life, you have the right to your life, and that the only time that we cross our rights with each other is based on healthy, hearty, profitable, productive relationships. And those relationships have responsibilities and accountabilities for our words and our actions. Our words say things like, I love you, or you are the fortune of my life. Or you are the fortune, my dear, because I can't tell you I love you today. And hopefully someday I'll tell you how much I love you. But in life we have family and friends. Our family of origin may be something we set aside to go off to a family of choice when we find the one that is not growing wild. Finding the partner that is not growing wild is your essential goal in life. A healthy child, regardless of their choice in sexuality or their preferences in sexuality or the path that God gave them on their life lessons and journey in sexuality, meaning God plans everyone's life this time around and next time around they might be something else in their terms of their sex life. But all of that intimacy is nobody fucking business. It's a matter of privacy and healthy conduct. There are people meant to raise children and people not meant to rear children and procreate. That's the truth of the world today. There are family names that go on and other family names that don't and possibly that's because you chose the wrong wife or husband today. If you got two boys then you are supposed to be a partial part of leadership and I don't mean that girls can't lead, but let's face it, in America, whose name continues is the family father's name. Now that's a simple, humble, old-fashioned, retarded, no offense to people with special needs, I just mean somewhat impoverished thought process. That if we get boys, then we might be golden with God, but that's not always true. Because the raising of boys cannot be only left to Michael Gurian's book on how to raise healthy boys. How to raise a thinking child is an American citizen's responsibility and every boy and girl has to understand that their body individually, singly, only belongs to them and is their responsibility to take care of their body in honor of their own life and the life to come. 